Now that you have me cornered, it appears the tables have turned in your favor, Mr. Black. I suspect you're waiting for me to make that one false move which will precipitate my ultimate doom. Allow me to end the suspense! Aha! Just the move I expected, Mr. White. That's another one of your agents capture. <laughs> for someone relatively new to the game, you've grasped the strategic concepts quickly. You're a good teacher. Once I learned how to think one step ahead, it made all the difference. Very good. Now, let us proceed to the next cognitive level. To wit, thinking two steps ahead of the opposition. You win! Pretty sneaky, Mr. Dinglebot. Some may consider this a frivolous parlor game, but I feel it sharpens the mind for the many unpredictable encounters faced in the daily life of a secret agent. I hope it will sharpen my mind, too, for my unpredictable encounters with Noah and Emma. <laughs> Keeping two steps ahead of those merry pranksters would certainly keep a lot of gum out of your hair. And peanut butter out of my shoes, and shaving cream out of my underwear. I think your tea is ready. Actually, it could be skullduggery that's brewing. My early warning teapot defense system indicates someone approaching the perimeter. Hmm, my old nemesis is back. Nemesis? What's a nemesis? An unconquerable foe, or particularly noxious rival. But this time, I am two steps ahead of him. A newspaper? Just a newspaper? Yes. Evidently, my paper boy is feeling under the weather again, so Paper Dad is on delivery duty today. The man seems to take unnatural delight in tossing my morning paper into the rose bushes. Oh, ye gods! What's wrong, Mr. Dinglebutt? Prime Minister Perry Pleaser has just taken great pleasure in announcing the impending closure of the noble organization which supplies my weekly paycheck! The Canadian Ministry of Intrigue, Spying and Tattling? He's closing Seamist? Why? Yet another of his budget-cutting rampages. A diversionary tactic that never fails to keep him one step ahead of the disgruntled voters. He plans to replace Seamist with an automated 24-hour juicy gossip hotline? Oh, I shudder to think of the mayhem that will surely ensue. Who will solve the nation's daily crises now that Seamist has been axed? What about you, Mr. Dinglebat? What will you do? <sighs> I shall accept the most difficult assignment of all, early retirement. I guess being retired will seem boring after having such an exciting job. Actually, my gloomy outlook is due to a Canada spy pension plan that's worth peanuts, thanks to Perry Pleaser's previous budget cutting. 
As a senior agent with over 40 years' service, I'm entitled to a mere pound and a half per month. Your pension really is peanuts? Unsalted. I'd better peruse the help wanted column. With the sudden flood of ex-agents about to hit the streets, I'll be lucky to get a part-time position as a fast food burger flipper. <laughs> What's this? The Stanley Puck Diamond! The Stanley Puck Diamond is coming to Montreal! This is highly irregular. As senior seamist agent, I should have been put in charge of security arrangements. Why wasn't I notified? Budget, Budget cuts. cuts. I can only assume the government has hired a cheaper private security firm to stand watch over Canada's most precious gem. The defense is tight here at the Montreal Arena, folks. That's Hatchet and Legrand skating up the far wing. Oh, is somebody checking the red line by Legrand? And here's what everyone's been waiting for. The arrival of the Stanley Buck Diamond. He shoots! He scores! The government could have at least hired a pro squad for security. These guys are from the Montreal Marvels farm team. The farm team! <laughs> Fish and foul! Those two have got to be up to no good. I know it. <gasps> they are up to no good. Stop them! You've got to stop them! No! No! Stop Fish and Fowl! They're gonna steal the Stanley Puck Diamond! Not me! Not me! Ah! <clears throat> So then I warned the police about them and got into trouble again for making mischief. They say fish and fowl are the new janitors. The new janitors! So they are. In spite of their long police records, including everything from cheese fraud to phone booth wrestling, fish and fowl are legitimately employed by the Montreal Arena. How could that happen? They're going to steal the Stanley Buck Diamond. They'll steal it! If they succeed, it could well be a career-ending embarrassment for Prime Minister Pleaser. <laughs> a fate well-deserved in my recently unemployed opinion. We can't let them get away with it, Mr. Dinglebat. We can't! <sighs> You're right, Jacob. As patriotic Canadians, we cannot stand idly by and let a national treasure fall into the hands of those scoundrels. should keep them occupied. Without a referee to blow the whistle, they'll go all night. The only thing missing is a neon sign that says, Free Diamond. It's a wonder fish and fowl haven't run off with it already. A most intriguing postulation, Agent Tutu. Hmm. I believe a little reconnaissance is in order to locate the nefarious Tutum. You go that way. I'll go this way. Agreed. Rendezvous at Center Ice in 15 minutes. Most intriguing indeed. We've got the building all to ourselves, Fish. That's right, Fowl. Just you and me and the big ice. We got all the tools we need right here. We are really going to clean up on this job. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Clean up. I love it. Fowl, I got this funny feeling I'm being watched. Me too, Fish. Hmm. Must because we're used to having umpteen guards watching our every move. Yeah, you could be right, Fowl. 
I didn't like the way my fried eggs were staring up at me this morning either. Yeah, we'll get over it in a month or two. It takes time getting used to life on the outside. I hope you're right, Fowl. What, what the? the? Is that... Hey, somebody's hijacking our car! Stop! Why is it no matter what path in life we take, you're always there with your foot out to trip us up? Because you two keep going down the wrong path. The wrong path. <laughs> <laughs> I told you this would never work, Fowl. <laughs> there, there, Fish. We knew making a fresh start wouldn't be easy. Fresh start? <laughs> <laughs> you're right, Fowl. The path of the straight and narrow will always be cast in the shadow of our dark past. You mean you aren't here to steal the Stanley Puck diamond? Of course not. We've cleaned up our act. But I heard you talking about stealing the diamond. You said you had the big eyes all to yourselves, and you were really going to clean up on this job. <laughs> the big ice is the hockey rink. They're letting us skate on it during lunch hours. And of course we're going to clean up on this job. We're Jesus! Sorry. I guess I kind of jumped to conclusions. Oh, and I helped someone else jump to conclusions, too. Mr. Dinglebutt? Mr. Dinglebutt! We were supposed to rendezvous right here. I wonder where he is. I know where he is. Ah! He's long gone. Where's the Stanley Buck Diamond? Hmm, he must have put it someplace safe. I'll tell you where he put it. In his pocket! Don't worry. It's in good hands. You can count on Mr. Dinglebutt. He'll have it right back here before the doors open tomorrow. Hey, hey, hey! You know what comes next, Fowl? The wail of police sirens. The rattling of handcuffs. The bang of the judge's gavel. Oh, the, the slamming, slamming of, of our cell door. door. It's okay. I'll tell them you didn't take it. I'll tell them. There's only one thing to do, Fowl. It's our only hope, Fish. That's right. Just be honest and... Run for it! No! <sighs> oh, hi. You've probably noticed the Stanley Puck Diamond isn't here. <sighs> <laughs> it's a breakaway! Huh? I have to find Mr. Dinglebutt, wherever he is. Mr. Dinglebutt? Hello? Quick! Get inside! What are you two doing here? We followed you from the rink. We gotta find this Mr. Dinglebad you keep yakking about. Yeah, thanks to him, the cops think we took the Stanley Puck Diamond. You shouldn't have run away. If we didn't, we'd be back in the slammer by now, thanks to you, you little conclusion jumper. <sighs> Sorry. It's just that every other time I've bumped into you, you've been real stinkers. Hey, Fish, have a look at this. Floor plans for the Montreal Arena. With a carefully planned escape route timed to the last second. And what do we have here? Looks like he's been planning a getaway. He didn't mention anything about going on a vacation. Not a vacation getaway. A getaway getaway. Rio, that's where all the really successful crooks go. The farthest we ever got was Ramuski. I know Mr. Dinglebot is worried about losing his job, but he'd never turn to a life of crime. It's not a life of crime. It's only a couple of hours. Maybe that's him. 
Dinglebat eats Big Macs. I got that load of cabbage you asked for. Eh, it's just some guy from the grocery store. I'll be at the chiropractor's at half a baker's dozen. Be there with the ice and we'll make the button. The, the ice? ice? He's talking about the diamond. Well, they're making it into a button? It's code. He means an on-off button. A switch. They're going to switch the diamond. Ah. Oh. For a load of cabbage. He must really like coleslaw. Cabbage means money. It means money. Aha! Uh -huh. That proves it. Dingle Red has pulled a double cross on you. And a double frame up on us. <laughs> oh, his frame up. Oh. I have to find him. I'll talk him out of it before it's too late. You can find him? A baker's dozen is 13. Half that is six and a half. They're meeting at 6.30 at the chiropractor's. Hmm. Think, Tutu, think. We have to stop Dingbad from going down the wrong path like we did. Yes, we must steer him back to the straight and narrow. Wait, a chiropractor is a doctor. A dog. The meeting is at the docks. I'll go talk to him. I'll... Better leave it to us. We can talk to him on his own level. Because we know how the criminal mind works, right, Fowl? Right, Fish. As a matter of fact, it works a lot like this. Hey! Ah! Agent Tutu? Oh, what's this? An ambush? We had planned on sucking the diamond into the vacuum cleaner, but you saved us the trouble of getting our hands dirty. Mr. Dinglebat! Oh, oh. Thanks, Tutu. We followed you to Dingbats, figuring we'd jump him and grab the diamond. But the old fox was a step ahead of us. Good thing you were there to lead us to the prize. Ah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dinglebutt, why'd you do it? Why? I couldn't resist such an ideal mm. opportunity. Hopefully there's still time to complete my little transaction. Mr. Dinglebutt, no! It isn't worth it! <gasps> Look, Fish! That must be Big Max. And that must be a suitcase full of money. He's here to make the switch, so let's switch! Whoa, Dinglebat, that's gotta be the ugliest disguise ever. I have to get the diamond back. So long, if I'm ever in Rio, I'll be sure to look you up. Rio! Bon voyage, don't forget to write! Whoa! Thanks for the cabbage, Big Max! Yeah. And thanks for the diamond, too! Yeah. <laughs> a rock? It's a rock? Exactly the sort of dirty trick I expected from those two. Although I must admit the barrel and the cargo hook were a bit of a surprise. Mr. Dinglebun? We have to stop them! We have to stop them! They're on their way to Rio with the Stanley Puck Diamond! Mission already accomplished, Agent Tutu. With your capable assistance, we are two steps ahead of them. We are? We are? Fish and Fowl are currently en route to Ellesmere Island with nothing but a suitcase full of cabbage and an intricately carved ice cube fashioned by one of my artistically inclined sea mist colleagues. Another sea mist agent pulled some strings and got them real honest jobs <laughs> as deckhands on a Canadian Arctic research vessel. <laughs> How could this happen? My photo op is ruined! Who 
is responsible? Where can I point the prime ministerial finger of blame? <laughs> Me? Because of my budget cuts? Oh, I need a doctor. <laughs> is there a spin doctor in the house? Senior Seamist Agent X Barnaby Dinglebat here. I would like to offer my assistance. At last, a political lifeline. I say I would like to help, but alas, due to your recent budget slashing, Seamist is no more. <laughs> Nonsense. Why would I close such a useful ministry right when I need it most? Hmm? Go find the diamond. Could I have your solemn word that you will restore funding for myself and my worthy colleagues? It's a pleaser promise. His fingers are crossed. His fingers are crossed. Perhaps I should have your word on national television. <laughs> uh, hello out there in Voterland. Hi, Harry Pleaser. I'm desperate. I'm um, pleased to announce the refunding of the Canadian Ministry of Intrigue, Spying, and Tattling. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister, on behalf of Sea Mist agents everywhere. And now, the photo op you've been waiting for. May I present the Stanley Puck Diamond? A mirror! No one stole the diamond. No one stole it. Yes, I took the liberty of concealing it under this mirrored cube to ensure Fish and Fowl's nefarious plans would remain on ice. Like I was saying, Agent Tutu, it pays to think two steps ahead. Especially two steps ahead of the Prime Minister. A national treasure, just like me, your beloved Prime Minister. Hey, a penny. A penny. Another one. And another one. Wow, what luck. What luck! Where else can you have this much entertainment for eight cents? Indeed, O'Toole. Huh? Hey! What happened to the water? That little sneak ripped us off. It's payback time. <laughs> like Mr. Dinglebutt says, it really pays to think two steps ahead. Ah!